that I told myself I would never try again. But we're gonna do it for your entertainment. Let's go. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, everybody, you're everyday nerd. I'm your host, Zack Snyder, and today's still about Friday. Happy Friday. We know we're in here on Fridays. We're taking a look at things that are utter garbage. And, uh. <laughs> Back in college, there was a summer where I stayed on campus so I could work in the library in the chapel. I didn't have a whole lot of money that summer, and so when I started running out of food, I basically had two options of food to eat. There was ramen noodles, which I already made a video about, and then there was peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Now, I'm not that big into peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's something that I didn't have for years, and then when I was living over campus on this summer, I decided to get some PB&J because it's very cheap. The only thing you're really paying for is the bread because the PB&J you're gonna have for a while. My dumb ass was like, yo, I wanna try something interesting. I want something different. I like having tortilla shells in my cabinet. I use these things a lot. I like using them for quesadillas. You can put hot dogs and cheese, make little pigs in a blanket. You can use this for hamburgers if you wanted to. There's so many things you can do with this. So I thought, what about a peanut butter and jelly quesadilla? This was a mistake. Now the first thing you want to do to make a peanut butter and jelly quesadilla is to grab a tortilla shell. Don't make two like I did, just make one. And actually don't make this ever. Get you a little bit of peanut butter and jelly brought to you by great value, honey roasted creamy. If you like crunchy peanut butter, you're disgusting. Grab a knife, get you a little bit of peanut butter on there. And we're not gonna make a, we're not gonna waste a lot of peanut butter on this because I actually am broke. And uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich is probably what I'm gonna eat next week when all my ramen runs out. You can get yourself some Concord grape jelly. Now this is Welch's because when you save on the peanut butter, you give yourself the luxury to get some actually good jelly. So here we are. I'm gonna have to use a little bit more jelly than I would like to for the video, but we're gonna do it anyways. Just get it on there. Now on bread, this works a lot better because you know, it's bread and it's not a tortilla. Now I know what you're thinking, Tortillas with peanut butter and jelly on it? That actually don't sound too bad. And if I'm honest with you, it's actually not that bad. This alone would taste good. I'm about to ruin it for you. Get you on a small frying pan. Turn the heat up. Get you a little bit of butter. And watch the life fade out of my eyes. And this is where the quesadilla part of this comes in. Now, I will go ahead and say this is a fully vegan recipe. Unless you use butter, then it's not. So I uh, get you some vegan butter. And it's a fully vegan recipe. Hopefully that'll make somebody happy. After the butter's all melted, it's time to throw our perfectly good peanut butter and jelly tortilla sandwich. This would taste good. This does taste good. It's time to throw that in our frying pan. Now, the best way to do this is to Make sure you get butter on both sides so it doesn't stick to the pan. And a couple of things are gonna happen. One, you're gonna have hot peanut butter. Peanut butter doesn't taste good hot. Two, you're gonna have hot jelly. But the jelly is gonna do something that you never thought jelly would do, and that's caramelize. Since the jelly is heating up, it's very much like sugar and caramel and chocolate. It's gonna start melting a little bit. Now obviously, it's already wet. It's already kind of, you know, it's jelly. It's it's got a jelly formation. It's gonna caramelize. Get hype. Let it cook. You can already start to see some of the jelly seeping out. It doesn't look good. Don't eat this. Let it cook a little bit, get toasty like you would a real quesadilla, and then we're gonna flip it. Here we go. You can hear the jelly caramelize. The biggest problem with this is my kitchen doesn't particularly smell that good right now. You can smell the butter, you can smell the jelly. Look at this, look at this. The jelly just melts, it's not good. You're not even seeing this side of the tortilla brown enough, which means we gotta hold it in there for longer. Because of the jelly being liquid, this is just gonna be soaking wet. 
You see, you see that color? See how purple it is? As I wait for this to finish cooking, I've got to mentally prepare myself. Unfortunately, I don't have any cocaine or hard drugs with me today. I'm gonna flip it over again. There we go. There we go. It's starting to brown like an actual tortilla. But again, the jelly make it makes it look disgusting. I think it's time to take this puppy out. Throw it on the plate. Be careful because it is hot. Uh, it's not going to come off. Okay, here we go. Nice. It's sticky because it's jelly. Make sure we get all the jelly. All the jelly. Oh, that's not going to be hot at all. Um, that's not good. Now that it's done, it's time to taste. I'm going to use a fork and a knife so I don't burn myself. Also, it's very sticky and disgusting. So obviously, oh, you know that quesadilla kind of has that texture of like when you cut, when you break it apart, right? It's all gooey and cheesy and great. Nothing like that. It's kind of, it's kind of tough. It's because of the, it's because of the peanut butter, I guess. Either way, it's, oh no, it's stuck to the plate. It's actually stuck to the plate. Let's see if we can get it unstuck. There we go. Yeah, woo! Okay, so it's still a little warm. It's not hot though, I let it sit. It's very sticky. I'm definitely gonna have to wash after this. Let's dig into it. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so, I got me something to drink, hold on. Okay, so here's the deal. That's awful. The peanut butter is more like getting stuck in my teeth than it would be like regularly. You can still taste some of the sweetness in the jelly, but it's not good. <laughs> this is a mistake. So what's the lesson that we've learned today? It's okay to get creative with food. Just don't get too creative, especially if you're broke. Here's what I think about this. You ever want to try something like this? Don't do it. Throw the whole thing in there. I'd throw this away if I didn't need it.